Okay, for homework tonight, we have page 5, lesson 1.2, place value of whole numbers. And before we get into the place value of whole, of whole numbers, what I want you guys to refer to for homework tonight, everyone is going to have a place value chart up into the millions. So you're all going to have this as a reference to look back as you're doing your homework. And what we can see here is we're using the three periods, the ones period, the thousands period, and the millions period. And when within each period, we have the ones, the tens, the hundreds. Then we go up to the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, millions, 10 million, 100 million. So you can see the pattern repeated over and over. And if you need to, use this chart to fill in your numbers as we go. Because what we see here in our homework, for the first eight problems, we're talking about just the value of the underlying digit. Value is always going to be written as a number not a word. So in this case, we're looking for the value or the standard form of each digit. In the first one, they have it done for us, but I'm going to read it to you. Remember, if you're having trouble reading these numbers, chunk it. We have everything covered up behind the comma. We have 5 million, 165,874. So in this case, the six is underlined. We're going to bring down the six. Everything in front of that number disappears, and everything behind that number turns into a zero. So we're adding four zeros behind this because this is in the ten thousands column. So we have 60,000. Number two, we have 281 million. 480,100, and the 8 is underlined. The 8 is in the 10 millions column. So we need to put seven zeros behind it in order to keep it in that column. So everything else behind it becomes a zero. Everything in front disappears. What are your questions? Do we have any questions on this? No. Okay. So that's how you're going to continue to do the problems all the way up to number eight. For the next few problems, they're asking us to write it in two other forms. Okay. So we have to write these numbers in two other forms. All four of these problems are giving you the number in standard form. The two other forms, can someone tell me the other form we would need? Danny? We have word form. And the next one? Fidel? Right, as it gets bigger, it's expanded form, right? Expanding the number. So we're doing expanded form. Word form and expanded form. Since they already gave us the number in standard form, the two other forms that we're going to be looking at are word form and expanded form. The word form, if you can read it, you can write it. And make sure what you write down matches the standard form. So can anybody read this number for me? Miguel? Fantastic. So if you needed a little help with that, we can cover up everything here. We have 15 thousand, then we cover up the other side, 409. And you're just going to write that in your word form. Go ahead. Write in your word form. So we have 15,000. Four hundred nine. There's our word form. Okay. 
Now we need our expanded form. So for the expanded form, we're going to take the value of each digit, just like we did at the top, but we're going to multiply it by its place value. So when we start, we're going to start with the digit on the furthest to the left, which is 1. Who could tell me what place value the 1 is in? TJ? 10,000. So we're going to say 1 times 10,000 and end our parentheses. I think this is the hardest part is the students get confused as to what operation is inside or outside the parentheses and to remember you to use your parentheses. So there's our first digit in our place value. Now we're going to put our addition sign before we move to the next digit. And the next digit is, uh oh, there we go, five times, now we're going to multiply it by its place value, Stacy, times 1,000. Plus, we move on to the next digit, which is a four times its place value. What place value is the four in? Zania? Did I say it wrong? I'm sorry. Zamira. I'm very sorry. Zamira. 100 plus our last digit, which is in the ones place. So we're going to multiply that by nine. And now our expanded form is complete. The problem solving problems, they're just asking you to write one in word form and one in expanded form. So I'm going to have you guys continue on with the rest of this homework on your own. And hopefully this YouTube video makes it onto YouTube, right? Okay, so hopefully this is our last shot and it will get put up on my YouTube page so you guys can all subscribe.